everyone will see the strength in these winds today remaining to be out of the south and southwest as we can see those gusts upwards about 20 25 miles per hour. So what's happening is, is a warm front lifted through. That warm front is settling in northern Michigan. That's putting us in the warm sector of this system. So you're in the warm sector. We have our south southwest wind, our warmest wind direction. It's really going to bump up our temperatures. We will stay dry though with that variable cloud cover. Any shower or even thunderstorm chances are going to stay in northern Michigan. They even have a marginal risk for severe weather, but we are uh, not involved in any of that. You can see when we take a look at future track, uh, it's well up towards Cadillac and more north of Cadillac as we stay dry with that sunshine, the breeze and the warmth. So all in all, not a terrible day, especially on October standards. I mean, look at this Tuesday bus stop planner. You may not even need a jacket uh, this morning, especially compared to yesterday. Definitely won't need one this afternoon. 73 degrees for the day. We should be about 57 on average this time of year. So definitely well above average. And I really wish today was Halloween because next week this time when the trick or treaters are heading out, definitely won't have temperatures in the 70s, sadly. Overnight tonight, we could see a spotty shower. We're going to add in more cloud cover. Temperatures start to dip back into the upper 50s as this is where we pick up future tracks. Some of those spotty showers really pushing closer and closer to daybreak tomorrow. That warm front to our north is just going to sit and stay a while, become a stationary front and give us waves of rainfall over the next couple of days. Tomorrow, much of the rain in the first half of the day. Otherwise, cloudy, breezy, and warm. Thursday, then we have some of that rainfall as well, more in a scattered fashion, cloudy, breezy, and warm. That's the setup for the next several days here. As we go Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, keeping with those temps in the 60s, when we add up all the rainfall, for those three days in total across the board, we're going to see about three quarters to an inch or so of rainfall. Some of you can get higher totals, but a good, a little decent soaking of rain for the three days. Going into the weekend, heading into next week, temperatures fall in the 50s and 40s still with some rain chances.